everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For all of you Henry fans, here he is. I've kind of invaded his afternoon nap space to film this video, but that's okay. Tiger is snoozing on the chair in this direction. I'm not going to move the camera right now, but trust me, he's snoring this little heart out, having a beautiful afternoon nap. But anyway, today is the day where I show you what I picked up when Cami and Yota were visiting two weekends ago. We had such a great time, guys. And just a little FYI, we really are friends. I mean, we talk to each other every day. We text every day, you know, talking through text. You know what I'm saying? I visit with Cami. We do things together once in a while when we have an opportunity to, whether it's to go shopping or to go to lunch whatever. Yota's been here a few times, still waiting to actually meet Winnie in person. You know, Eva, same with her. We're all really, really close. And of course, Winnie and Autumn, who I've never met, but hopefully we will be meeting in person. But we all talk together and it's not like we're just casually leaving comments on each other's videos we really share other things that are happening in our lives and we like to have fun together and we like to, you know, have these get togethers once in a while so that we can just enjoy shopping and talking and eating and stuff. So anyway, Yota came from her little house in Alabama, sweet home Alabama, and she arrived on a Thursday, and then on Friday morning, we went to meet Cammie. But when we went out on Friday night, we, or excuse me, on Thursday night, Yota and I had gone to Bamba's Tacos. There's some in Ohio, and I think that there's a couple of locations in PA. And, oh my God, they're like the best tacos that I've ever had. They have street tacos. There's maybe seven or eight different kinds of they're probably not a million percent traditional, but considering I live in Philly and considering that we do have some Mexican restaurants here that are really good, they're, they're kind of not really readily available in my neighborhood. There's one, but I don't know, it just doesn't taste like it's all that fresh, but Bombas does taste fresh and they have really good margaritas. So not a million percent authentic, but they're really, really good, and I love their tacos. But anyway, we went to have dinner, and we went to Paper Source afterwards, and I bought, I don't have it with me, but I bought a Barbie hair clip, which I absolutely love. It has little rhinestone lettering that spells out Barbie. It's beautiful. I love it, and I was really happy to have it. So Saturday, again, we went to Princeton, and we picked up Cammie. Her husband drove her to Princeton, which is not really all that far. It's kind of in the middle for both of us. And I do a lot of shopping in the Princeton area. <coughs> Excuse me. I go to an esthetician in Princeton and I do most of my regular shopping there for two reasons. Number one, it's really easy to get to from my house. Number two, there's never any construction that really hinders the way. There's not really a lot of traffic and parking is great. So if it's a choice between 20 minutes going to Cherry Hill or 30 minutes going to Princeton, I'll usually go to Princeton because it's a lot less hassle. So that's my reasoning. But I happen to like the area as well. So we did some shopping at Princeton Market Fair I didn't buy anything, but later in the day we went to tea and there's a dandelion jewelry shop next to, or right very close by to where the tea house we went to. And the tea house we went to is called Shaley's and Yota showed it in her vlog. And I will of course link Yota's vlog in the description box if you want to see more of what we did. But anyway, this dandelion there's a couple of locations in and around Philly. I think that there's at least three and they have jewelry made by local artists and lots of different variety of things besides jewelry. They have some pottery, some glassware, some bags. I don't think that the bags are handmade, but they are from small independent companies. 
And while we were there, I picked up these sweet little fleur-de-lis earrings. I think they were only 20 bucks. They're sterling silver. And I just thought that they were so, so pretty. And, you know, I kind of wasn't into shopping so much because it wasn't really a trip that was planned to be a shopping trip. So if I said, if I see something that I love, I'm going to pick it up. So Cammie had given us a couple of gifts. And one of the gifts that she gave was this gorgeous spa headband with little witchy boots hanging off of it. Isn't it just gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. And she also gave me this skull crossbody bag. It's just so pretty. It reminds me of Day of the Dead. I cannot wait to wear it, and I've kind of been waiting to wear it because I didn't want to have it out and, you know, drop rhinestones from it. And then I also have this little ghost hand sanitizer, which I'm about to attach to one of my bags. I've also been waiting until a little closer to Halloween to put this on, but these are just absolutely precious. And if you see my thumbnail, you'll see the painting that Yota made for me for Halloween which I'm about to hang up also. I think I know where I'm going to put it. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to need to put it on a doorknob because I can't figure a way to hang it and get a nail in anywhere until I go get a wreath hanger. So that was from Cami. The painting was from Yota. She also brought these cute little kitty earrings, Halloween kitty earrings, which I love. We wore these the night we went to see The Exorcist, which was the day we went to pick up Cami and we went for afternoon tea. So I will be wearing these again before the holiday is over. I was going to put them on today, but I like to wear them when my hair is back because you can't see them so much. And since this kind of earring kind of lays flat, it's hard to see even if your hair moves so I'll definitely be doing that with my hair up. So on Saturday, we were going to a haunted hayride in the evening. And we met my friend Diana again, because Diana came with us on Friday. We met her again on Saturday. And we went to an authentic Sichuanese, no, Shanghaiese restaurant in Cherry Hill. And there are several in the New York, Pennsylvania area. It's called Zhang Jing Zhao Long Bao, if I have all those words correct. But anyway, they served him some. It's a Michelin recommended restaurant. They're based in Brooklyn. And I think that there's at least 10 different locations scattered all around New York and Pennsylvania and New Jersey as well. There's a couple of New Jersey locations. I think that there's one in the American Dream Mall. There's one close to Cherry Hill Mall in the Garden State Parkway area, but they have the most amazing Szechuanese, or I keep saying Szechuanese, Shanghaiese soup buns, which are the dumplings that are kind of sealed at the top like a purse, and they're filled with broth. And then inside you have your chicken or pork or crab and pork. There's a lot of different combinations that they use and it's just fabulous. So we each ordered different things. We had vegetable dumplings. We had little shumais. We had um, crispy noodles, fried rice, all kinds of things that the restaurant specializes in. And it's very authentic. It's nothing like, you know, Chinese American, American food. But it's just so delicious. If you're near one of these locations, I highly recommend it. You will be addicted, let me tell you. So after we finished shopping, we went to Nordstrom. Actually, we might have gone to Nordstrom first. But anyway, we went to Nordstrom that day. That was the day we lost Yota. And... Yeah, we did finally find her again, and we all went downstairs. We were looking through the handbag department, 
And I saw something that when I saw it, it just made my eyes bug out. And I was like, oh my God, how did I not know that this thing exists? <sighs> Guys, I'm telling you, I've been on Van Island for, you know, like big stuff. And I've been avoiding some emails. And I did avoid an email from this company because they're like peanuts. Once you get one, it's like you can't stop and you want to get more. So I was walking through the handbag department. So a couple of things that caught my eye, but this stopped me in my tracks. And I purchased this Metro Clutch from MZ Wallace. This is called the Metro Clutch. And this is in tweed. Actually, they call it Boucle. It's Autumn Winter 23 Boucle. And oh my God, guys, look at this Boucle print. This is so Chanel. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I didn't start using it yet until I made this video. So that's why there's still tags on it. You can see that there are some metallic stitching. You have yellow, red, green, blue. It's just amazing. There's black there's white, there's some metallic. It's beautiful. So here's the front. Here's what the sides look like. You can see it's very soft, although the piping does give it structure. Here's the back. You have a zipper that runs the whole length with an open pocket. The pocket is lined in I guess it's like a, a silky feeling nylon. Let's just say that. And then inside, you have some organization. Reminds you of the Toilet Tree 26, right? And my Dior Montaigne pouch, right? There's a zipper pocket here. And no connection for keys, but that's just fine. And when I saw it, you know what I was thinking, right? You got to know what I was thinking and what made me really flip to get this. I knew that I could use it like this in my toiletry encasement. Guys, I love this toiletry encasement. I mean, there's just no denying that I absolutely do. And look, it fits. Now, I am going to tell you, this is slightly bigger than Dior. It's slightly bigger than the toiletry pouch, but because it's soft, it fits in with no trouble. And look at that. Look at this. Look at this, how gorgeous. So you'll see it bows a tiny, tiny little bit. So in other words, the front doesn't lay completely flush against the front of the encasement but when you fill it it does of course come out because i've already tried i've already put some things in it just to see and oh my god i am in love look how gorgeous this is i can't wait to start using it i absolutely can't wait let me pull this down because the little clochette here does hold this little key which is Really just like a push lock and not a lock. But if you want to take the encasement out, you do need to use that. But oh my God, look how gorgeous this looks. Of course, it's going to look better without the little mini pearl tags hanging off. But you can even take the tail and put the tail inside here on the sides. So that you get a more sleek look. So look, I just push it over there. Voila, it stays. And oops, look, you could put this in too. So if you want to keep it, you know, just a little bit more sleek looking, there it goes. Both sides tucked in and it's just looking fabulous. Oh my God, guys, I am so, so happy that I got this. Now, this is a little bit more expensive than the typical Metro pouch because it's boucle. <coughs> Excuse me, this was $145.
and these typically run for 85, but some of the special editions do run a little bit higher. So actually it's a little bit, probably better to just leave that end out because it makes it a little bit too tight. It takes up room inside the encasement and it's harder to get the zipper on and off, open and closed, not on and off. But anyway, most of them are only $85, like I said, and they usually do make these in special editions and you can buy the toiletry case in special editions. So if you wanted to have a different look, get more mileage out of your item and get more mileage out of your toiletry case, these MZ Wallace Metro Pal pouches are fabulous. And I love that they have the outside zipper because you could just do like this, hold on and with one hand, kind of manipulate your way to go in your bag if you want to grab your phone or something that you need to have handy. It's really easy to do it one-handed. And this, of course, is light as a feather. I mean, there's just no real weight to it at all. I love the gold hardware with the gold hardware on the encasement. It's just so pretty. So that was my big purchase for our little get-together, and I'm extremely happy with it. On Sunday, Yota and I went to Princeton and we went to a couple of small shops there. We went to the Hamilton Jeweler in Princeton and just browsed around and we browsed some of the other shops. We went to breakfast and we went to Jerry's Artorama, which was the main event for the day. And we had to give Cammy back early in the, in the morning. And then Monday morning, I gave Yota back. So by myself again, guys, but just until the next visit when we all can get together and we'll have we'll have fun again one of these days soon. So thank you all for watching. Please go over and watch Yota and Cammy's videos and see what they got on our little trip. And I will see you soon. I have a couple of really good videos coming out this week. So please stay with me and please consider subscribing hit the like button and hit the notification bell and I will see you soon. Bye.